Hey everyone, Structure Pro video. Just a quick example on plane stress analysis. And this is going to be a pretty simple, quick one. So we're given this stress state here, and it has a weld across it at an angle of 75 degrees. And we're asked to find the shear stress, tau xy, in this current orientation so that there's no shear stress on the weld. And we're supposed to find the corresponding principal stresses, sigma max and sigma min. So we notice, and I've, and I've included some equations and these two figures here, this notation, we notice that this is what we have, this first notation, and this is kind of what we want to get to, the, uh, the principal stress orientation. And we notice that if we rotate our block to be aligned with the weld, that would be equivalent of rotating negative 15 degrees according to our figure here. And that is actually our principal angle because we're told we don't want any shear stress on that plane. So we're going to use our formula here for our principal angle. So tan 2 theta p, which is negative 15 degrees, equals 2 times the shear stress divided by the difference in normal stresses. So 2 tau xy over 10. Solving this, we get tan negative 30 times 10 over 2 is negative 2.89 MPA. So that is the answer to the first part basically. It was surprisingly simple. We just needed to know which angle we were supposed to take and for that we had to look at our notation and how we defined it. Next we can find the corresponding principal stresses. So the sigma average is 12 plus 2 over 2 or 7 of course. Next we can find R and that's the square root of 10 squared plus negative 2.89 squared, 5.77 MPA. Therefore, sigma max is the average plus r, or 12.77 MPA, and sigma min is the average minus r, or 1.23 MPA. And that completes everything that we're asked for. So, let's reward ourselves with some bubble letters. That's kind of a guilty pleasure, you know adding bubble letters when you know you've aced the problem. And now let's just turn and visualize actually what we've just done. So here's the Mohr circle, here's the equations. You might want to just pause this to digest it. It's a lot to take in, I know. But we can see our stress state that we started at, which is this dashed line, and the stress state that we were asked for, basically the principal stress state, it's the one we transformed to, and that's this dashed line in red, linking sigma min and the sigma max. And we see their angle was negative 30 degrees, which is twice negative 15. Okay, nice work and good job. Don't you just wish you could do this all day?